Hello and welcome to another Snack Tech video. So today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic watering system for plants. Now the final end goal of this project will be to have the plants be watered automatically depending on the soil conditions but for now we're just going to start with watering one plant on the push of a button. So things we're going to need are this pump with some tubing. These pumps are available very inexpensively from online sellers such as AliExpress. I think this one was under four dollars US. The power supply for the pump. This one's oversized but it could run probably five or ten pumps. I need the Snacktech relay actor and associated USB cable and power supply and we're going to need the Snacktech director and associated USB cable and a power supply for that one as well. For the button I'm going to use the button the user button on the director because it's already there and I can just push it and what I want is for a certain amount of water to be pumped to the plant. So two is we need to if we plug in the pump it runs so we need to be able to interrupt this circuit with the relay actor. I'm going to if I cut both wires it's not the end of the world but that's just one less wire to worry about. Now that's already good enough but I'm going to bring in the soldering iron to tin the ends of these wires so they don't fray as much. Just going to tin the ends now I'm going to take the terminal block out of the relay actor and open it up with the screwdriver. We want the pump to be when the off when there's no power to the relay actor. So we want normally open. Normally open means it's open when it's off and then when it's activated it closes. And that's it. All to do now is plug everything back in and if we plug in the pump, nothing happens because the relay is now in control of this pump. The next step is to program the director so that when we push the button, the pump will come on for a certain amount of time. We have a, act, a relay actor here and what that means is we're going to go under getting started with relay to see how to use it. So, as you can see, there's only two things we need to do. The first thing is we need to initialize the relay actor with the unique ID. And the second thing is we need to turn it on in the code, in the Python code. So, copy and paste this code here. Comes up right here. And we double click on script.py. I have some old code in here, so I'm going to delete that. And then we're going to paste the example code in here. Now we need to replace the ID with the one from our relay actor. So there's different ways to find the ID. And one way is to look right on the back of the relay actor and it's kind of there. Another way is to do a Bluetooth scan and note the ID that is. And plug in the relay actor and see what comes up. So you can see the ID in this case is 8EF8234. Type it in here. Um, we want to connect to the director now so that we can get a reading, so we can get a readout and we'll just do like so. Um, it's usually the one called USB serial device. This one is we open that up. And you see the previous code is running. So we cancel that with Control C. 
And what we're going to do it is use the user switch, which is on top of the directory. And the way we access it is, it has a name, but I forgot. So we'll type in there to see what objects we have available. And you can see that user switch is available. So if I type in user underscore switch, type in user underscore switch, I get the, stat, the state of the switch. And in this, right now it's false. But if I type it again, holding the switch, it's true. So we're going to use that in the code. So we're going to call this relay. We're going to call it uh, pump1. Relay is now pump1. Here we're going to do a while true loop. So this next part is going to happen forever. And with that, what we're going to do is we're going to monitor the switch. So what we do is we can just do an if statement. That. So as soon as it's pressed, this next part is going to happen. And what we want is to turn on the pump, and then we want to run it for a few seconds so we can sleep, maybe, maybe five seconds. If the pump is on, we need to turn it off again after five seconds, so it's pump one, set, stay off. I also realized Forgot the cooler here. And that's it. Okay, I'm in my kitchen. I've got the director and relay and the pump in a glass of water with the tube going all the way up to this plant. It's hard to water that plant, so this will be useful. You can see the actor is ready. The red light is on, meaning it's waiting for a connection. We're going to plug in the director. This can be plugged in anywhere within range. So within about 15 meters of here. That plant is pretty thirsty, so I put a much larger jug. And now I have the director on a battery bank, so we'll see how that works. Pump takes a few presses to prime, but once it's primed, plant getting watered. Thanks for watching and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye.